holy crap, this never happened. I see him on the ground. On the ground, just walking. This is unbelievable. It's a baby. It's a little baby mole. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. But this is incredible to find one just crawling on the ground. That's that's a first for me. And it is it's it's a juvenile for sure. Okay, again, uh, this baby mole here. I'm going to put her into the uh, container here. I'll put some dirt over her to keep her calm. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet. Going there. All right, well, good job. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Another baby mole. I swear to you. It's another one. It's not the same one. It's another baby mole. And uh, I wonder if they're related. Shoot, my battery's going to run out. Because if they're not related, always falling out of my hand. Like I said, they'll, they'll fight to the death. Um, maybe the babies won't, but we'll see. Here's the other one, just so you believe me. So you believe me. I don't want you to think I'm doing something funny. There's one here. And they were both crawling on the ground. This is truly amazing to me, to see two moles crawling on the ground. They're both juvenile. Now, they're not little tiny babies with no hair where they need their mom's milk or anything like that. They could take care of themselves. I just need to give them some worms. Well, this was unexpected. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think this is my plan here. I got the two moles right there. I don't know if you can see that. But I am going to go buy some dirt. And I have a container, a lot of containers to where I use them when I um, caught moles for, for research. So I'm going to feed these moles, give them water for maybe a day or two, and uh, release them in a, a non-populated area and see how that works. Okay, uh, should I do this? The last time I went into a store while I had a mole in my car, uh, when I returned, he escaped up into my dashboard. I never got him out, and he was the biggest most plump male mole I've caught. So now I'm gonna go into the store to get these two little molars here that are in the dirt, some more topsoil so I could take them home and feed them. Uh, we're gonna get a storm here uh, anytime this evening. And then I'm gonna let them go after I uh, hold on to them for a couple days. So hopefully they will, will not escape in my car. Okay, I'm at my mother's house now, and I'm trying to get some worms here for the uh, for the moles. I'm gonna try to feed them. They need a lot of food. And uh, here's one more. Here's another one. Come here. Here we go. Got some worm steak. That's for the molars. I should keep them alive for a couple more days before I let them go. What I have to do is I gotta cut my mom's grass, gotta go home, cut my grass, and then I'll take care of these moles. Okay, I'm gonna do this rather fast. I'm gonna transfer the two uh, juvenile moles into their new home. That's what I'm gonna keep them in. It's only for uh, a day or two. I do not suggest ever keeping moles as a pet. It just won't happen, it won't work. Anyway, here's one. Okay, put them in there. All right, you can see the other one's digging in here. I don't know where his mouth is. Let's just hope he doesn't bite me. Okay, here's the second one. I'll put him in here. And I'll add the rest of the dirt here with the worms. 